Okay, so I need to make another correction. Goodness gracious. This is what I get for recording a bunch of lectures in the same day. <laughs> I think my brain gets too tired and I end up making really stupid mistakes. But anyway, uh, on example 1c from uh, 2.6 or 3.6 when we're talking about L'Hopital's rule. We were working out this problem and um, I just made a silly little trig mistake. So this is indeterminate. If you plug it, if you go, if you approach zero from the right, ln of x goes to negative infinity, cosecant x goes to positive infinity. So it's indeterminate of the form infinity over infinity. So you can use L'Hopital's rule on it. Um, when you do, uh, derivative of ln of x is one over x, derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant cotangent. Um, and then we can clean this up a little bit. And then the mistake that I made uh, was on this next step when I called when I said, well, I can move this stuff up here using the reciprocal identities. And that's true. I can do that. But the reciprocal identity for cosecant is not secant, right? The reciprocal of secant, cosecant is sine, right? So I should have had, on the next step, I should have had uh, limit as x goes to 0 of negative um, sine x tangent x over x. But now this uh, this is actually pretty nice because it ties together something from earlier on in the semester, right? Because now, uh, actually, let me do this over here. We can we can take this and do and split it, right? We can split it into uh, sine x over x times, and I'll bring the negative out here, maybe. So I call this negative limit of sine x over x times uh, limit as x approaches 0 of tangent x. And that turns out to be pretty nice because uh, limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x, we've talked about earlier on in the semester, that's negative. Well, that's 1, but I'm just bringing this negative along for the right. So it's negative 1 times and limit as uh, x approaches 0 of tangent x is 0. So you should get negative 1 times 0, which is 0. Okay, and that's different from the answer that we got when I used the wrong reciprocal identity. Right, we ended up with negative 1, but it, it, we should have just ended up with 0. And it's a much shorter problem when you don't mess up on the trig. <laughs> so um, anyway, so that was my, my mistake on that one. I apologize. <laughs>